Hey Sure Dashers, it's Adam, and this is likely going to be the last progress report that we have because the next release of Sure Dash will end up being our final live version. We're so excited about that. But I did want to make a video and cover the last release that we had 11 days ago because there was some big changes in there. So that's what I'll do in this video. As well as at the end of this video, I'm going to show you what is coming in that final version. This is the new admin stuff as well as options for how your content is displayed on the front end and also how you manage the content inside of your SureDash portal. But let's get to the last update that we had 11 days ago. This was a big, big update, big performance improvements, unlimited flexibility on your layouts, and we have multiple layouts now for your portal. It's unheard of. You can have it be exactly as you want it to be. I'll show you that. A bunch of improvements in the commenting system. We had to build our own custom commenting system because you guys have been telling us what you want in comments, and you'll see some of that right now. So uh, let's just go ahead and take a look. Uh, here is a site that I have with the latest version on it. Now when you click into SureDash, there's an option here that says customize portal. We might move this option, but I think it's gonna stay where it is. Now, when you click on this, it's gonna take you into this editing experience where you literally have full design control over your portal. You can move things around, you can visually customize and resize things as well as there's multiple layouts. So we see everything broken down here and it's very simple. For example, here is the search box. I can click on it, and then over here on the right, I have options for it. So if I don't like the roundness, and I, 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 I don't wanna write custom CSS and all of that, I can just go in here and let's change that to say 20. And so, or actually, let's change that to 10, just like that. So now, uh, it's probably a little hard to see uh, in this video, but it's now having the roundness changed, as well as there's styling options for things here as it relates to padding and all of that. And you have this for everything. You can just click on it, start editing, click on it, start editing. It's very, very simple. But what's really cool is when you open up the list view, and this is gonna show you everything that makes up your portal, you click at the very top, you see this says modern layout, and then over here to the right, it says replace. And when you click on this, it's gonna show you the multiple layouts that we have. Right now we have two, uh, but what's really exciting is we can make additional layouts over time, as well as people that have a great design eye and design capabilities can design custom portals and share those portals. It's all very simple. So let's see, which one am I on? I think this is the one that we have modern layout. If I wanna switch it to the classic layout, I can click right here and the portal has entirely and completely changed to a different layout where things are in different places. So SureDash gives this to you. So when someone logs into your instance of SureDash, it's not gonna look like someone else's instance of SureDash. You have complete control to have it look exactly how you want it to look. So I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna switch back to the modern layout because I like this layout. And everything, when you switch, everything gets reset. So I'll go ahead and click on save. And now I have this layout for people when they log into my site. Now the next major change is a huge performance boost. And this is one that uh, we're very excited about. And actually we're very proud about because it wasn't easy to get to this point. It took a lot of figuring out to get a level of performance that meets our standards. And uh, so here it is, and you're gonna notice it inside of this update. And there's also more to come. So you have near instant load times. This is not optimized hosting, by the way, uh, where I have this site. There's no caching or anything like that involved. Uh, so here I'll click on building my store and you see it just loads instantly. If I wanna go into a course, I'll just click on it and it loads instantly. If I wanna switch lessons, I just click on it and it loads instantly. I don't have any content there though. Uh, so let's go back and you'll just notice everything loads really, really fast. Now to accomplish this, it took a lot of time 
research and implementation, but we're very happy where it is now. Next is our own custom commenting system that's gonna allow rich content inside of the comments. So you can see right here, you there's an animated GIF or GIF, I'm gonna always say that wrong. So we have in this release a, a Giphy, Giphy um, integration where you can go to Giphy and get an API key. And what that's gonna allow you to do is when someone clicks into a comment, there's this option right here that says insert a uh, GIF. You go here and you can search. I've just entered in Heisenberg and you can see all the fun breaking bad GIFs there. So let's go ahead and choose one and then I can post it right there. And now I've added this rich media to it. Uh, so this is very easy to get going. It's a simple API key that you can paste in. Another thing that you might have noticed is when you see a post that has comments, it's going to show a couple of those comments there. There's an algorithm for that. Uh, there's a couple other nice things. Let me click right here to see all the comments. You can see right here, there's threaded comments now. So here's the original comment, and then right here is the threaded response to it. And uh, in here, you can also add any kind of media that you want. So we have it here where you can add an image. You click on that and you get this, uh, we redesigned this, this input box uh, modal for adding an image or adding it from a URL. You can also add a video. So pop in a YouTube link there or a Vimeo link and we'll see about adding something special there for Presto Player. And then of course you have the option for the GIF with the Giphy inter integration right there. Plus there was also the formatting options that you have bold, italic and all that kind of stuff, emojis, all that basic stuff. Uh, but this was a big, big deal to get going. You guys said immediately, we need images, videos, animated stuff inside of these comments. So what that meant was we had to go and build a custom commenting system to be able to support that. And everything goes instant, this is super fast. You saw how quick I was able to click on enter uh, and then the animated GIF went in. Let's go ahead and try it for a video. So I'm gonna go in here. I have a YouTube video in the clipboard. I'll click on attach video. Uh, there it is, it's embedded. I can add some, tie, uh, some words here if I want or just click on send. And now the video's right there inside of the comments and just looks big, immersive, and it looks beautiful. Plus in the update, there was a bunch of bug fixes and other improvements. I just wanted to mention the notable ones, which is everything is customizable. You now have the multiple layouts. We have performance. We have our own custom commenting system and we redesigned the screens for getting your comments in there and we made it really easy to add multimedia to your comments. So now let me show you some of what is to come. Uh, so with the final version, the main thing is gonna be a new color system so that we'll be able to support dark color palettes and then we'll add a, a color switcher, all those kinds of good things. Uh, as well as the whole admin has been redesigned. Now we put a lot of emphasis into the user interface and the user experience much more than other product companies. Typically, that's why sometimes things take us a little bit longer. And uh, this is absolutely beautiful what we put together. So this is gonna be the new dashboard right here. I'll have to make a video here, a getting started type of video. You can see down here, uh, we are gonna show you how many members are on your site. Uh, so that's a nice snapshot. And then down here, we're gonna list out recent activities. Just so you know, this is a development build. Uh, it's about a week old, so um, uh, there's some quirks here. That's why there's no content uh, here for recent activities, but it's gonna make it a lot easier uh, to see what's going on inside of your portal. Uh, we've simplified the menu options here underneath SureDash. We're trying to make this way easier. We've been listening to the feedback uh, and we wanna make it way, way easier to set up, manage in, uh, your community. So you'll see up here on the top, there's uh, some navigation, dashboard, spaces, posts, and settings. So you'll click here. This is the new interface for spaces, managing your spaces before we had them all here on, on uh, column here. It didn't give us enough space <laughs> for the spaces. Uh, so you go here and you can uh, add new spaces. We also are gonna have hidden spaces. This is where you'll create the hidden space. 
Uh, and you can put a direct link to it anywhere that you want. Uh, and you can use it inside of space groups uh, as well. As far as space collections, which is something that's coming out, all this spacey stuff. Um, check this out. Uh, if I click right here to edit a space, you're going to see some new options here. Let me get out of the screen so you can see them over here on the right. Um, first, this looks totally different. Over here in the center, you're going to see the content in the space. So if this is a discussion, you'll see all the discussion posts. So it's real easy to manage everything from the back end. Uh, but over here on the right, you're going to see the space options for the layout. You, so here's your cover image. Here's the container. And uh, this is going to provide way more flexibility to have it be exactly how you want it. So for the container, we have normal, narrow, and what we're introducing is full width. Uh, container style, boxed or unboxed. Right now, it's everything's boxed. So you're going to have an unboxed option as well. Uh, and uh, here's the toggle to enable comments. There's a lot of simplifications that we have added to this. And you can make this go away very easily like that. And so we've that that's what spaces are going to be like. So if you click into the announcements, it'll show a list of all the pieces of content there that are announcements. So everything is tidy and organized. It's going to be so much better. Uh, and then here is an interface for posts that you'll go in here to create posts that are and, and manage posts that are in your Shoredash experience. You'll see right here we have filtering options here. So it's going to make it very easy to manage, filter, and find whatever that you're looking for. We've added a custom search, statuses, author, group. You're going to be able to easily manage all the content that's going to end up being inside of the SureDash portal that you set up. We've come a long way and we've had to do lots of different unexpected things that have cost, caused some delays. One was getting performance up to our standards. Two, we built a custom commenting system uh, in response to... Uh, what you guys were asking for. Three, when we saw the initial user feedback, a lot of people were getting confused on how to set this up and that's not a good user experience. So we had to redesign everything, re-architect everything and rebuild it and put it all back together in a way that would be easy for anyone to figure out without having to watch a video or read a manual. And of course, uh, we executed on the customizing experience so that no to SureDash portals have to look the same. You can customize it all visually. You can move things around. I didn't really show you that as, as much as I should have moving, for example, the search wherever you want it or just getting rid of it if you don't want it at all. We wanted a fully customized experience for you. Now our team is working around the clock, literally working weekends to get this in your hands, final version as soon as possible. Version 1.1, this will come after version one. We intend to have resource library and then version 1.2, we will have the events experience in there. So that's kind of the plan for the next three releases. Uh, we're very eager to, to get it to you. And I know you guys want it. You guys, there's been obviously some delays because some things took longer than we expected, but we're doing our best. And you can see that we've come a very long way. So the next time you hear from me, the next time you see a video uploaded on this channel, it will be me announcing the final version that is available and exactly everything that's in it. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for your support. And thanks for watching this video.